Hello, people. It's Grimwit from NatchEvil.com. It's early in the morning. My voice, voice isn't here, and everybody has made their decision. The die was cast, and so we are headed to the west. That's, that's west. That's west right there. Before we go, though, I need to light up uh, Holy Crap Island. Cannot believe this ocean is as big as it is. Do we really need all the... Ah. Alright, let's put that here, put that here, put that here. Alright. Oh, and one last thing. I need a boat. Okay. And, you know what, let's... Let's play it safe here and get a second boat. Just in case something happens to my first one. That would really suck. If my voice sounds wicked awesome, it's because I... Just woke up, I had my morning coffee, but not my morning cup of water. Hooray. Here's how we're gonna do this, cause sailing is wicked boring. Oh. No, no, it's, it's fine. I'm gonna go start sailing, and uh, when something interesting happens, I, I guess I'll start the recording process all over again. So, welcome to Stronghold Ca Quest. Endless Blue Edition. Also, I have a lollipop. Still, uh, it's, it's still early morning. Just thought I'd point out something real clear to you. Uh, the distance between the home base tower and Corn Island is approximately 1,000 meters. One kilometer. Cool, huh? Alright, now keep in mind, we just left Holy Crap Island. We are still going, and Holy Crap Island was at, uh... Uh, X minus 4188. I wrote it down before we left. Check this out. X minus 5260. So, right off the bat, the distance between where I am now... And Holy Crap Island is the distance between the two major points of my world. Good lord. Ooh, ooh. Be you island or mainland? The audience wishes to know. It is so important to my let. You're, you're just an island. You're just an island floating on the sea. Nice to see you, island. You're looking good, man. We love you. So, I'll, I'll warn you guys, I guess, I guess I'll just cut until something interesting happens again. On I go. Hmm. Seems like just another island to me. But the reason why I'm stopping here is uh, the landscape underneath the water is really interesting looking. Very wicked park this and take a quick look, shall we? Whoa, 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 there we are. There's a lot of straight lines. Look at that. The deepness of the ocean is truly magnificent. Very cool. This looks like the main island over here. And, you know, it's pretty peaceful. No trees. There were more trees. And look, it's got a little lake. Hmm. Kind of like an atoll. That's really neat. Uh, you know, I'm always amazed when I go traveling. I'm always amazed by the uh, the engine that is making all of this new terrain. And everything is so seamless. Like, bravo, Mojang. I know you've been praised for this before, but... Good God, it, it truly is amazing. It's incredible programming, good engineering. Awesome. And it never gets boring. It never gets boring. It's so cool. Yeah. Alright. Stop the presses. What is that? What am I looking at here? It's a mine. There's a mine under there. What do I do? What the hell do I do about it? Okay, whoa, stop the boat, stop the boat, stop the boat. We're going down. Okay. Just, just stay there. What, what time is it? It's midday. 
Okay, this is still good. Let's let's take a look at this. Underwater sea mine. How fucking cool is that? Can I even get in here? Yes, I can. Looks like a spider drowned. Poor guy. What on earth? Let's make a note of these coordinates real quick. I got my trusty pad of paper. Uh, let's see. I hear some bats. We are at X minus 62057. And before you guys ask, because I know some of you are interested, yes, when this when this whole Let's Play is done, I do intend on releasing the whole map. But good lord, I'm coming back here later. We gotta gotta keep note of all of these, right? So cool, just an underwater sea mine. Who knows what riches are down in there? There we are. And uh, we are now, what, uh, about 2,000? Yeah, two kilometers from my original deal. <laughs> Endless Blue, you certainly are crazy. Yes, you are. On we go. Um, I have no idea how far I'm going to be going before I just say, fuck it. But, you know what, for now, I'm not doing anything. You're not doing anything, apparently. You're watching my Let's Play. Not that I, not that I, you know, have anything against that. I'm just, I'm, I'm amazed. I am truly amazed. Crazy. What's that? That's an island of one single bit of grass. It is cute, and it looks like it's in part of a underwater overhang. Cool. All right. Might come in handy later on. We sail on, yes we do. Well folks, it is sunset. I have now been at sea sailing west of the ocean blue for approximately two days. Roughly, you know, give or take. But uh that's that's two days. Two days of straight sailing. That means whenever it comes time for me to take this trip again, I will be sailing for two days. Or I will make the greatest my underground railroad the world has ever known. That would be pretty epic. It also take ridiculous amounts of time. <laughs> ah, but you know what? What's this game for if not wasting time? Stars are beautiful tonight, and we are continuing west. Ho Chi Minh City in the summer. Sweltering by anyone's standards. Needless to say, Artemis Fowl would not have been willing to put up with such discomfort if something extremely important had not been at stake. Important, I hope this isn't another wild goose chase bottler, he said, his voice soft and clipped, especially after Cairo. It was a gentle rebuke. They had travelled to Egypt. A waiter scurried to their table. More tisas? He asked, head bobbing furiously. Artemis sighed. Spare me the theatrics and sit down. The waiter turned instinctively to Butler, who was, after all, the adult. But sir, I am the waiter. Artemis tapped the table for attention. You're wearing handmade loafers, a silk shirt, and three gold signet rings. Your English has a tinge of Oxford about it, and your nails have the soft sheen of the recently manicured. You are not a waiter. You are our contact, Nguyen Schwan and you've adopted this pathetic disguise to discreetly check for weaponry. Nguyen's shoulders sagged. It is true. Amazing. Hardly. A ragged apron does not a waiter make. Nguyen sat, pouring some mint tea into a tiny china cup. Let me fill you in on the weapon status, continued Artemis. I am unarmed, but Butler here, my, uh, Butler, has a Sig Sauer in his shoulder holster, two shrike throwing knives in his boots, a Derringer two shot up his sleeve, garrot wire in his watch, and three stun grenades concealed in various pockets. Anything else, Butler? The Kosh, sir. Oh, yes. A good old ball bearing Kosh. Okay, time to stop this. Sure. Stop, stop this. We're, we're in a cave. We're in a cave. We're leaving a cave. 
We are leaving a cave. Topside, topside, air, air, air. Topside, topside, air, air, air. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ow. Ow. Alright, we're good. There's my boat. Okay, that's, that's just the place to go. I could have swore I saw an underwater ravine. It was so cool looking that I had to stop for it. Huh. Shoot. Um, crap. Well, alright. We'll start the thing again. And I, and I had brought the cup trembling to his lips. On I go. Don't be alarmed, Mr. Schwan, smiled Artemis. The weapons will not be used on you. Ngayan didn't seem reassured. No, continued Artemis. Butler could kill you a hundred different ways without the use of his armory. Hello? Larger than normal island. Worthy of my attention. Especially given so much nothing around here. Let's see what we got. Whoa, 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 whoa. Slow down, Tex. Well, we'll go back to that. Again, no trees. Not really a good survival island. But again, that strange sort of ge geometry. Hmm. I have no idea if we're going to end up in the Far Lands like this. I'm sure Far Lands or Bust wouldn't have been uh, as interesting. God, I wish there was a cow around here. I really need a cow. Hmm. Where are we at? Huh. About five kilometers from home. Good lord. Or no, five kilometers from Holy Crap Island. Sorry. Or is that the... No. Sorry, that's that's the mine shaft I found. Okay. Come on, you can do math. Eleven minus four, that's all it is. Seven kilometers from Holy Crap Island. Not including our Z coordinates. Fun. How can I go? Wait. Artemis didn't bother hold answering. On, hold on, hold on. Instead, he picked his way across. Pause. Pause that. What is this? We got a st string of islands. It's from that first island, and I thought it was just kind of like a fluke. But no, we actually have a string of islands going on here. Does it continue, or is it just kind of end? Oh, well, looks like it ends. Still. Huh. I wonder about the uh, terrain generation and how it really kind of determines how islands are picked. I mean, clearly it's just where the peak is and where the peak isn't. Still, it's really fascinating. And once again, proof going to how uh, really well done the generation. Whoa! Hello! Tell me I can get in here somehow. Yes, I can. Cool. We're going cave exploring. We're going cave exploring because there's nothing else to do here. Oh, look. That lasted a long time. I really wish the speed up potions worked with boats, but they don't. Holy crap! Oh, am, am I catching this? Holy crap! Land ho! Is this is this just a big island? What is this? It's got a tree. This is like the first tree we've seen in a couple of Minecraft days. Let's head toward the big tree when we need to find our way back. We got an interesting little atoll formation. Like a crater, and it's just a big island. <laughs> this is the biggest island I've seen yet, though. Just in sheer size, and it's got a tree. I mean, trees trees are no small thing, man. We're still, we're still generating terrain. This this could be good. This could be good. Maybe we'll, we'll finally find a continent. Looks like, uh... 
looks like the terrain generation is getting wonkier, but uh, heck, maybe I can find a continent. That would be nice. Come on, load. Load, you bastard. Huh. Doesn't look like there's going to be a continent that way. Okay, we can continue west, but uh, yeah, I think this is a good sign. I think this is a sign that uh, I won't, I won't be completely on the ocean this episode. That would be really nice. I'm not even sure how, how much I've been recording. Let's eat real quick. We got plenty of food. We haven't done. Well, we don't really need that right there. Anyway, we got plenty of food. We got plenty of everything, really. I, uh, I also don't need that sand right there. And, uh, let me get around this island. That's, this could be good, man. We're gonna ride this, uh, ride this ocean out after all. Find something worth, like, find the swamp. That's what we're after, right? And I can't think of anything more swamp-like than an ocean. I don't, I don't really know what I would say in there. There it is. Hey! More land. What's this? What is this? Another island? I might be seeing more and more islands. And until the islands kind of coagulate. It is the end of the third Minecraft day. I'm still sailing west. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to take this as a good omen. Things are looking up, man. Holy shit. I had to put down my breakfast. What? <clears throat> What? We have a new biome! We may have... We may have... Holy crap! We may have went one and out after all! Okay, okay, new island. New island. Come up with a name for this island. Because I'm going to call it something stupid like Hope. And that's dumb. So no, we need a good island name for this, man. You guys give me a good name for this island. Let's, let's take a look around it. It's really goddamn small. Like, maybe we'll find an island that's just a swamp. That would be cool. Whoa! Whoa, there's, there's more stuff. There's more stuff to see. Okay, 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 okay. Calm down, everybody calm down. Me especially. Let's grab our boat. Whee! Swoosh! Okay, okay, okay. I'm going to assume that I have ten... Hey, what's up, man? Whoa! I hit him so hard, he fell right over. Spider. Really, Spider? What an idiot. I think we have found a new continent. Either that or a really big island. I mean, isn't that what a continent is? I don't really want to deal with uh, creepers right now. Okay, no, this is good. It's very, very good. We found the end of the endless blue. Holy crap. Or at least an edge to endless blue. And that's good enough for me. It looks like it continues that way. Uh, I know we said we'd go west, but I want to backtrack a little bit to the east. Um, what's, what's our coordinates? Minus 12,000 from Holy Crap Island, that is, um, well, I mean, it's, it's six kilometers. No, not six, I'm sorry, eight kilometers. I can count. You can clearly see. Um, wow. Wow, okay, cool, 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 cool. Uh, I don't really want to deal with these bastards right now, so let's follow, let's backtrack a little bit and follow this edge, see what kind of continent we're dealing with. The new continent. That's the name of this place, the New Continent. The other place will just be called the Old Continent. Or the... I'm, so, I'm sorry, this is the Outer Continent. The other one will be called the Incontinent. <laughs> I'm so... So... Horribly punny with words that people don't use normally. Yeah. Cool. Alright, well, you know, it doesn't even matter. I don't care. Whoa, mountain. Cool. Going to the mountain. See, see what that, what that's like. The mountain. I knew, I, I knew eventually that thing would break. 
Wow, look at this mountain, man. It looks like a big mouth. Pigs. Hey, what's up, man? How you doing, piggy? I used to be a pig man. Yeah, I know what you guys are going through. Death to the proletariat. Alright. This is not really a cave. It's just an overhang. Uh, let's head inland a little bit to the north. And we're already seeing some of the indigenous wildlife. Game straight. You guys can't fight me. You know, I don't have large biomes turned on. I don't know what the deal is with this. Like, why is there so much, you know? Alright, we're going north. New lands. I'm looking for swamp lands. Alright, let's see. Right. It might just be a big island after all. Oh, man. Awesome, 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 awesome. Maybe a giant strip. You know, this is going to play hell with, uh, with my cartographer program. I see a skeleton, and I don't want to deal with you. Gotcha. Ah. What's up, Black Sheep? Hey, what's up, man? I like your armor. I really do. Now oh, I'm just useless, though. Did I get any leather from you, at least? No. Head out to the icy depths. Anybody trying to get me? No. Alright. Get rid of some of this stuff. Don't need you. Don't need you. Don't really need you. I don't need leather boots. Leather boots. Boots, man. Woo. And you can run really fast in this. Is that it? Okay, I thought that was a creeper riding a spider. Truly the stuff of my nightmares. Okay. Okay. Things are pretty crazy. I think. Ooh, nice. Oh, a whole bunch of bad guys. Okay. Let's back up a little bit. I think it is time to down a potion of speed and really get. Ow. Really get moving here. Asshole. Alright. Westward! Oh my god! Whoa, warp speed! So many sheep! So many sheep! You can't catch me! I'm totally some kind of gingerbread man! Which is, I mean, kind of weird thing to say. He's a cookie! What, what's he gonna do? Whoa! Okay, off into the snowy depths. Chasing the setting moon, we are the Gingerbread Man. So much snow in this new continent. The outer continent is so crazy and flat. Wow, it's flat. Still no friggin' cows either. I need a cow. Okay, we've hit another uh, ocean. Probably the same one because, again, this is probably just a, one gigantic island. Or a strip of land. I don't know. Let's head south a little bit. Towards this uh, skeleton who, which actually could hit us. Bravo, man. Ooh. Ow. Oof. Out of the snowies. <laughs> what even happened there? Okay, I am no longer under the effects of a speed potion. We see a snowy blight, mystery blight over there. That's cool. Um, hmm. This, this might actually be just one gigantic island. 
Let's let's try to go away from endless blue here, because I know that's the same goddamn ocean. Let's see what else we can find. I, I want to reiterate this: that this is not large biomes. I do not have this set to large biomes. This is just right. This this map was made before large biomes was even an option. So I have no clue why we're seeing so much snow and ocean and spur trees what spruce trees I think it is oh my god uh, finally cows cows You, you're what I'm after. Let's do this shit. Cut there, and we got our book and quill. Very cool. And now we no longer need this. Don't know why I'd need string. And put everything else I want to keep on the right hand side so I can easily say, you know what? Screw you. Grim, whoops. Grimwits. Interesting places. West edition. Holy crap. Uh, 2057. Alright, things are looking good. Done. And, uh, yeah. W what else can we find here? We're, we're still deep into this snowy biome. Head towards the mountains. You know, might might get a better view of the place up there. Did I did I get some ladders? I should have. Very big snowy biomes. I may be traveling the snowy biomes for a while. That would that would be huh. Now, if I could find one of these in a swamp form, that would be cool. Let's, that, that place looks climbable. We're going to climb up that mountain and see what we can find. Hmm. More mountain. That's what I seem to find. And places. The Outer Continents, kind of biggish. Climb, climb, climb. Mm -hmm. I did bring ladders. Oh, Alright. Um, yeah, I don't think I will climb that, after all. Because, I mean, all I'd see is, oh look, more mountain. Seriously, though, I could, I could really see something like the single most badass uh, train ride, you know? <laughs> Just like set it up and uh, okay, we're gonna go ten thousand kilometers west for no reason. Crazy stuff. Waterfalls, really cool uh, cave systems, grass for seeds, snowy biomes as far as the eye can see. I think we've really just traded uh, endless, the endless uh, blue for endless white and that's that's I think that's what we're gonna call this we're gonna call this endless white and uh, I think I'm gonna call it quits here yes right here at new time noon time almost noon time we're we're gonna go ahead and call it quits at this little chicken area what's up guys how you doing yeah this marks my spot so we can find it later and uh, yeah I think I've recorded enough. I'll talk to you guys some other time. Hey folks, a uh, little side note again. Check this out. This is the entire play area that I've been building, exploring, etc. over the last hundred some odd episodes. And this is how far we traveled to the outer continent. <laughs> That's about four, five, five times the length 
of my normal, everyday world. What the fuck? Yeah.